Recollection Road is proud to partner with Legacy Box. Watch until the end of this video to find out more about digitizing your family's irreplaceable memories, and then visit LegacyBox.com recollection for an incredible 55% off. There's a generation of baby boomers that entered adulthood just as a new shopping method came into existence. Home shopping channels that were built into cable packages began airing long infomercial-style segments that tried to convince you of the life-changing benefits of their products. Not only were they absolutely needed, but you would also receive a substantial discount if you bought one immediately. The Home Shopping Network and QVC offered payment plans for many of these special buys. Whether it was a clever gadget, pretty jewelry, or a celebrity fashion line, shopping channels had us picking up the phone to order things we probably didn't need. But these channels are still a big part of retail therapy for many baby boomers. How many of us have a set of dishes for everyday use and a separate set of fine china for special occasions? These dishes are usually housed in a special display cabinet that is made solely for more expensive and elaborate dinnerware. As a kid, you had to be careful not to bump into the cabinet, and occasionally mom might even pull the silverware out to shine it up. Let's face it, the china cabinet was a dust magnet, and it took effort to keep that set of dishes on the ready. These dishes may have also been passed down from parents or even grandparents, which makes them even more sentimental. The likelihood that this year's Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner will be served on this special set of plates is still pretty high, especially if you consider yourself a baby boomer. The concept of boarding a cruise ship and setting sail to exotic locations is attractive to many. It feels like the lap of luxury, with everything paid for up front and unlimited food and drinks at your disposal. The pools, bars, and entertainment on board were especially appealing to baby boomers who made tourism and summer vacations a mandatory thing. What's better than sitting back and relaxing for a week while being waited on hand and foot? The detailed itineraries with just a bit of built-in adventure checks all the boxes and offers a little something for everyone. So it's no wonder that as you board the ship, you will find a sea of boomers boarding too. There's just something about cruise ships that keeps them coming back again and again. Another shopping trend that is still popular with baby boomers is paging through the mail order catalogs. This started for many with the Sears Wish Book or the Montgomery Ward catalog, but those are long gone now. What hasn't gone completely is the feeling of shopping from catalogs sent through the mail. With online options now the norm, catalogs are fewer and far between, but companies like Land's End, L.L. Bean, and even Amazon still use the printed page to update shoppers on the seasonal trends. There is something comfortable about waiting for the catalog to be delivered, flipping through the pages and marking everything you want, and then placing an order. Boomers have been doing this since they were born, so it's really no wonder that some companies still send catalogs through the mail. All of us remember the house we grew up in, and it seemed that every room had wallpaper lining the walls. Some rooms even had chair rails that went around the room too, with complementing wallpaper both above and below. This decorating trend is something that can still be found in some homes of baby boomers. With each decade that passes, the patterns and colors are updated, from vibrant colors to floral patterns, and even the resurgence of vintage Victorian wallpaper. It's something that is hard to let go of. Maybe it's because it's more expensive than just painting, and also difficult to remove, that keeps boomers from simply moving away from it. Also, who can forget the wallpaper ceiling borders that went up in the 1980s, especially in kitchens and bedrooms? Most of us love a good conspiracy theory, but baby boomers seemingly invented the concept. Who really assassinated JFK? Did we really walk on the moon? Are remains of aliens actually stored at Area 51? There's nothing more satisfying than taking a momentous occasion and theorizing that it was all staged. Most of us can appreciate the work that goes into the drama and creativity of some of the theories, because they are fascinating to think about. The conspiracy theory genre has skyrocketed in recent years, with the ability to research and suggest theories online, not to mention the endless supply of TV shows dedicated to the subject. 
And occasionally, some of the far-fetched theories are even proven true, which fans the flames of conspiracy lovers. Let's face it, baby boomers love to go out to eat. With so many great restaurants to choose from these days, it's hard to believe that a chain restaurant is usually the choice for dinner. Sizzler, Golden Corral, Applebee's, and Ponderosa come to mind. Because why mess with a familiar and trusted brand that is still affordable? Growing up during the golden era of national franchising made loyal fans out of the boomer generation. So when they find a good thing, there's no need to change it. And that is why when you drive past a chain restaurant around 4 p.m., you will find a parking lot full of diners waiting on the early bird specials. Buying fresh fruit juice wasn't really a thing until the 1980s. That's because most households would just squeeze their own oranges if they wanted it fresh. Frozen concentrate in cylindrical tubes, now that was how many of us remember drinking juice growing up. First shaking the slushy concoction into a pitcher, adding just the right amount of water, and then stirring until everything was blended was how it was done. Baby boomers saw the value of having an assortment of flavors in the freezer just in case. Brands like Minute Maid, Flavor Nip, or Bird's Eye could be found, and they were made extra sugary sweet to keep you coming back for more. That's why you may still find a can of juice concentrate in your own freezer. The houses of baby boomers across the country are stuffed with decorative trinkets and knickknacks that seemingly just collect dust. Some homes may even have extra pieces of furniture just to display all the mementos. Prior to the minimalist movement of modern times, brought on by the hoarding epidemic, having lots of these things around the house was perfectly normal. Whether it was tiny keepsakes from vacations past, precious moments figurines, or even the random tiny spoon collection, we couldn't get enough of collecting these knickknacks. And it's hard to part with these things that have adorned the rooms of our life for so long. How often do you pull out the iron and ironing board these days? For baby boomers, pressing the occasional dress, shirt, or pants is still alive and well in their home. Well before the wrinkled and sloppy look was in, looking sharp was required by pretty much everyone. Young families in the 1950s and 1960s would always have a dedicated pile of clothes to iron, and mom would usually take care of it. Hours could be spent on ironing any given week, so it's no wonder that new wrinkle-free fabrics have been invented to save us all time. Although ironing is becoming less of a chore, some of us still keep an iron and a can of spray starch on hand just in case. There are very few things that scream grandma's house more than a soft cushioned toilet seat and the fuzzy seat cover on the lid. Today, these bathroom accents that included a carpeted shower rug, toilet lid cover, and custom cut toilet rug can still be purchased. And guess who's buying them? You got it, those who grew up with them years ago. Baby boomers just love the comfort of plush carpeting. So it's no wonder that these bathroom accessories can still be found in many homes across the country. As dated as the look may be, there is still something comforting about walking into a bathroom with shag carpeting wrapped around porcelain. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. Recollection Road and Legacy Box both believe it's important to preserve the past. If you're like me, there's a box of your family's treasured home movies and photos tucked away somewhere, and Legacy Box can help you preserve them digitally. The process is a simple and safe solution for converting your home movies and photos to thumb drive or to the cloud. Just send in your Legacy Box filled with old VHS and camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures, and get back digital copies that can be easily enjoyed, shared, and kept organized. It's that easy. Legacy Box is trusted by over 1 million people, and it's all done right here in the USA. Get started preserving your past today. Go to LegacyBox.com slash recollection to get an incredible 55% off. Buy today to take advantage of this exclusive offer and send in your memories when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash recollection to save 55% while supplies last. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist, and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.